Do you want to say something? Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. On the desk today we have the ESP32 S3 Pico. At first glance it looks like the Pico you already know, but it brings a lot more power, wireless features and memory to the table. And in this tutorial we are going to install MicroPython on this board. We are going to use Fonny in this series since it will be easy for us to install firmware, connect to the microcontroller and run programs. We will press this boot cell button, press and hold it in and then plug in this USB. And then it will connect to the PC and then you can let go. Now inside Fonny, you're going to click here on the right corner and then go to Configurate Interpreter. We're going to click here and we're going to go to ESP32. And here we can say Install or Update MicroPython. So here we'll just wait a few seconds so we can show the target port. And here we'll select our communication port 5. And here for MicroPython family, we'll go to ESP32 S3. And for a variant, we'll just go to ESP32 S3. And then we'll press install. And this will take some time. So I'll get back to you soon. Once it is done installing, we'll go here to the bottom. And here we will go to MicroPython ESP32 board CDC and we'll then use COM9. So if I click on this and here you can see we have MicroPython running on our board. The Pico S3 I am using is from Waveshare and on GP21 we have an RGB LED and also with this other Pico S3 I bought, I can't remember the manufacturer, it also has an RGB pen on pen 21. So let's go quickly copy some code from my website and we can test if this one is working. So in Fonny we will paste the code here and we can see just from machine we will import pen and since MicroPython has a new pixel library we'll say from new pixel import new pixel and here we will set up our RGB pen which is pen 21 and we will initialize our new pixel. So we'll have new pixel we say our pen is our RGB pen or we can also just write 21 here and we only have one LED. So in this loop here we're going to select that first LED, we're going to turn it to red, um, turn it on for half a second, then to make it green for half a second, and then blue, and then turn it off. And this will keep repeating. So let's run this code and see our output. And here we can see our RGB is flashing as expected, so we know our microcontroller is working fine. In the next few videos, we're going to go focus on sensors, LEDs, buttons, and so on. Basically everything we did with the Raspberry Pi Pico. Now the great thing about this one is actually all the code that we have written for our Pico we can just substitute this one inside there and we just have to go update the GP pens because the GP pens is a bit different than the Raspberry Pi Pico. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next video.